All right, and we're going. <laughs> okay, so good morning, Starshines. Me and Ms. Collins are making this video to essentially walk you through what we expect of you this week. So each of you guys have been provided with a copy of this PowerPoint I've got on the screen, um, as well as worksheets for days one, two, and three of this project. Um, this PowerPoint goes along with what you need to know for these worksheets, but we're going to briefly run through it with you so you guys are on the same page of what we need to do. So um, this is the PowerPoint you should have a copy of. You can access it through Google Classroom. Um, and it goes for, and it walks you through, through days one, two, and three of this um, assignment. So the very first thing you're gonna do when you open up this PowerPoint is you can actually take a virtual tour of the Galapagos Islands that we're gonna be working with in our evolution unit. Um, so if I scroll over to Google Chrome, I've got this uh, virtual tour pulled up. I'm not actually going to walk through it with you, but if this front page is any indication of what you'll see in this virtual tour, I don't know about you, but I need this happiness in my life. So I would look it up if I were you. Um, so that's the first thing you're going to do. Um, now, this is where you can get some more information on the Galapagos Islands, um, where they're located, as, wh as well as why they're important. So that's the, all the background information you need in order to complete this first part of your assignment. Um, you're going to be learning or reading about two individuals who are working with um, Darwin's finches on the Galapagos Islands. And you're going to be plotting some data that they have found on your, um, on your worksheets. So the first thing you're going to do is read through this passage that is on your worksheet. So you'll read through this background information um, and here you'll find the directions. So you're going to be completing three line graphs on the following page um, in which you're going to graph the number of finches, number of seeds and seed size. And now this graph is going to show data from before, during and after a drought that is mentioned. Now, here's how you're going to graph on Google Docs. Um, we do not expect you to print this out. I don't have a printer. Everything we assign to you can be completed directly on Google Docs. Um, so here's how you're going to do it on a computer. If you um, run your cursor over any of these images and you click Command C to copy the image, or if you go and do Edit Copy, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on this Insert button. You're going to go to Insert Drawing new and it will take you to this blank drawing board then if you press command v or if you go to actions paste it will paste that image directly into a drawing board then you have the option to insert shapes and lines directly onto this graph so you're going to be inserting circles to be your data points you're going to plot those on the axis. Now, don't pay attention to where my dots are because they're not where yours are supposed to be. Um, but you're going to put dots on those axes and then you're going to connect them with lines. So then once you're done with your graph, you press save and close and ta-da. Perfect, your graph that's so is cool. right there. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. Um, so I have a question. Go for if it. You if they if they aren't using like a laptop or a desktop can they do this on a phone yes they should be able to do it on the phone um the same way and in insert drawing new but that drawing is going to be the main place you do it um however I, I did have some people who also chose to draw theirs on graph paper or on loose leaf so if you think that you would if you would do better drawing these data points on on paper that's completely fine um, do it on paper, take a picture of that, and upload it just the same. As long as we have proof that you guys did this graph, it's all good. Right. All right. Now, as soon as you have, oh, that's not it. As soon as you have done your graphs, the next thing you're going to do is basically analyze your data. So you're going to be figuring out what did that data show. Um, and you're going to do that by scrolling down here to your analysis questions and using the graphs that you've just plotted to answer questions one through six. Okay, um, some of these questions are going to be found in the passage you read, so make sure that you understand what was mentioned there. Um, but all of these questions can be answered by the data that you just plotted. Then you're going to scroll 
Okay, keep scrolling down. And I think you have two or three, two more questions that you need to answer. Um, so these are two just um, conclusion questions that you need to answer based on everything you just learned. Um, and this is a question that actually pops up on the Regents a lot. So make sure you guys are familiar with this graph because you will see it again. Um, but that's it, that's it for day one. Day one. Yeah. Um, let's, just, let's just also keep in mind that because this is considered a project, projects are weighted higher. Absolutely. So it's very important that you're getting this done and actually trying your best because Absolutely. this is actually worth 60% of your grade. Yep, and yeah, it's, this is a big, big project. So make sure you guys turn it in on time to get the most points possible. Um, but that's all you need to do for day one. That is due Tuesday night at midnight. Um, the only things you need to do are graph those three graphs and answer your analysis questions. Um, turn those in on Google Classroom and you're done for day one, right? The next thing you need to do is day two. Once again, you are using the same PowerPoint. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down until we get to this video. All right, to start the, the lesson off, you're going to watch this YouTube video on um, finches and other animals in the Galapagos Islands. So if you go to the um, speaker notes down at the bottom, there is a link that you can click on that will open up a video in YouTube. Um, it's about 16 minutes, so you will watch that just as an introduction to the day's lesson. And then, oh, I've got too many windows open. Where is it? All right, and then this brings us to day two. Um, day two is talking about the different tortoise evolutions um, in the Galapagos Islands. Now, on your worksheet, you are given three different types of tortoises and three different island locations. And your job for today is to read through the descriptions of the types of tortoises. So you've got saddleback, domed, and intermediate tortoises. And you're trying to figure out which island they most likely inhabit, whether it's the Pinta, the Isabella, or the Hood Island. Um, once you have read through those passages and figured out, based on the characteristics of these tortoises, which island they most likely inhabit, you're going to do the same thing we just did with our graphs. You're going to copy this picture. So edit, copy. You're going to go to insert, oh wait, hold on. Insert, drawing, new. You're going to paste that image. Oh, that's our graph, hold on. <laughs> How do I undo? I know, okay. All right, copy, insert, drawing, new. There it is. And then you're going to write the name of the tortoise in the island. So on your paper, it does say that to cut it out and, and glue it on top, but we don't want you to do that, especially if you don't have a printer. Um, all you need to do is create a text box with this box right here um, and write the name of the tortoise um, within that box. Then you'll save and close, and you will label each of those um, islands with whatever tortoise most likely inhabits them. Then, if you keep scrolling down to the bottom, there are some follow-up questions to answer about that. Now, some of these, mainly this one, we already know. So this is both a review of stuff that we have talked about, as well as pushing your knowledge to see how we can apply it to evolution. Okay. And once again, that's it for day two. All you have to do is read through, where is it? Read through this passage, decide which tortoises inhabit which island, and then answer five questions. That's it for day two. That is due Wednesday night at midnight. Um, Ms. Ivory, is there anything else I need to add about that? No, you hit everything. Okay. And finally, last but not least, we've got day three. Hold on, let me undo these changes so Ms. Parsons doesn't murder me. <laughs> Let's see. All right, that's day two. Um, and finally, last but not least, day three. We're gonna go back over to our PowerPoint. Remember, we're still using the same PowerPoint for all of these days. 
Um, and our last thing that we're going to do um, is actually a virtual lab. So the, it's super fun. I just did it. Um, the link to the virtual lab is once again in the speaker notes. So you're going to click on that link, open it up in a new um, in a new window, and then you get to play a game. Look how fun this is. <laughs> Now, in this game, there are six different challenges that you're going to complete. Um, each one of those missions, you're going to click down here and it will just automatically start. It'll pop up for you. Um, I'll show you guys roughly what you're going to do for the first one, um, but it gives you all the instructions you need on your screen. Um, so the first one says, drag these two species into the center of the screen to start building your tree. So I'm gonna drag those two species. Um, now it says to drag the shared trait onto the tree. So what I'm creating right now um, is essentially showing the evolutionary relationships between species. Um, now, I'm not going to do any more of this mission because I want you to figure it out, but this is just an example of what those missions are going to look like. Um, so once again, there are six of them, and as soon as you are done with each mission, you will scroll down to the third page, of your day three worksheet, and you're going to write down the name of the mission, the day you completed it, as well as a summary. Now, your summary is going to be much, much larger than this box allows. Yeah. So I'm going to suggest that you write your summaries down here in this extra white space. Um, and I'm going to say, I want a four to five sentence summary of what you completed in that mission. Yes. Is there anything else that I need to add? No, that was literally what I was going to enforce. Um, make sure for your summaries, we are not looking for one sentence. We're looking to see that you fully understand what you are doing. So we expect paragraphs, which, it, which are four to five sentences, okay? So make sure you're writing in a complete sentence because we'll be checking for that. If you missed that, <laughs> we need to get your eyes checked. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and that's the end of day three. So day three, once again, you're going to turn in this, um, this summary chart, four to five sentences each. Yeah. Um, so essentially at the end of it, you should have, it should look like a paper, mm -hmm. right? It, maybe we should, no, I won't make it more complicated. It should just make just sure write your summaries down here in the in the white space below. Right. And that's it for day three. So that's what you're going to submit on Wednesday, Thursday night at midnight. I'm sorry, Thursday. Um, and that's it. Um, the end of your spring break project. Is there anything else we need to add, Ms. Ivory? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, no. Okay. Get your work done, guys. Yeah. So you guys have got a ton of time to work on this. I know you've got stuff for other classes, um, but we gave you guys an extra day by not making anything due today. Um, so day one is due on Tuesday. Day two is due on Wednesday. Day three is due on Thursday. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Um, but other than that, you guys are doing great. Uh, Ms. Ivory and I are going to schedule some sort of check-in time for you guys this week. Um, through Google Meets, but stay tuned for when that's going to be. Um, other than that, you're amazing. Keep up the good work and have a wonderful day. Hey. Yes, and stay safe. Stay, stay, safe. Outside. stay inside. Yes, for it's sure. It's rainy anyways. I don't know what you would do outside. Go dance in some puddles. I mean, well, at this point. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but already, oh guys. God. All right, we're signing off, but reach out to us if you have any questions. And if you're missing any work, please submit that makeup work so I can give you at least partial credit. We want to help you out, so please help us. All right. Help us help you. Exactly. All right. Collins and Ivory out. Have a wonderful day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How do I end this? I don't know. <laughs>